Hello coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing on some fresh updates. We are going to begin with this report claiming that Barcelona are still keen on um, Real Sociedad striker Alexander Isak. And of course, Barca see him as Halan alternative and will try to negotiate for a lower price. We are going to be discussing much about that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Danny Alves and the appeal that Barcelona wanted to, you know, make for him not to be suspended for up to two games. Recent reports are claiming that Barcelona have failed in that appeal as Danny Alves too much suspension have been upheld. We are going to be discussing much about that as well. So as we get right into it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. At this point in time, it is no secret that Barcelona are planning to go all out in their pursuit for Erling Haaland. Of course, Haaland has been identified as a top priority for the summer transfer window by manager Xavi and President Juan Laporta as they look to you know, continue the club rebuild. Barcelona are of the belief that they have everything in place to clinch signing Haaland. However, things are not as straightforward as they seem to have been for Haaland. Of course, he's attracting interest from other top European clubs who are in position to offer him more lucrative deals. At the same time, qualification for the UEFA Champions League will also be of utmost importance for Barcelona to clinch a land signing. Why the club did break into the top four last weekend, it is a crucial um, thing that they are able to hold on to that fourth place or even go higher. Given as a lot of things can change between now and the end of the season, it is important for Barca you know, to not pull all their eggs in one basket and as reported by Sport, Barca are keeping their options open with Alexander Isak being identified as an alternative if they miss out on Haaland. The Swedish striker has been on um, Barca's radar for quite a, a while and they even came close to signing him last summer before he decided to pen an extension with Real Sociedad. The deal failed to come to fruition because of Barcelona's inability to shed wages from their payroll. However, as per the report, the club have maintained their relationship with Isaac and his representative with the former AIK strikers come aware that he would come into the picture only if Haaland's move fails. Real Sociedad inserted a massive 80 million euros release clause into the contract last year. However, Barcelona will hope to lower that price by negotiating with La Real, who themselves are aware that getting such a sum for the 22-year-old could be difficult in the current financial climate. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona have failed in their appeal against two match ban handed out to Dani Alves for his red card in the win over Atletico Madrid. The appeals committee have now met to discuss the appeal where they have decided to uphold the original decision which means the Brazilian will miss Barca's next two La Liga games. Xavi will have to cope without Alves this weekend against Espanyol and also for the trip to Valencia on Sunday, February 20. Of course, Alves will also miss the two Napoli games in the Europa League so he won't be able to play again until February 27 when Athletic visit the Camp Nou in La Liga. Alves has already made it pretty clear he is not happy with the decision with a post on Twitter. He said, it is ridiculous to think that a professional colleague is going to hurt the other on purpose. We play a risky sport and accidents happen and it does not have to go any further. Anyway, Carrasco, sorry for the incident again. Javi will now have to make changes to his starting 11, you know, for the derby and could opt to give Sejino Des a run in the team. The fullback has struggled for game time recently due to injury and the arrival of Dani Alves, but he does now have a chance to show what he can do. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.